Hello everyone! Uh, this game was suggested to me by a subscriber and, uh, well, uh, it's a Blitz game played between uh, Nicolas Lube and Melanie Ome. Uh, Nicolas is an international master and Melanie is a, a, a woman grandmaster. And, uh, well, the game is interesting uh, because the stakes to this game are really high. As, uh, well, uh, the two of them were planning on getting married. Uh, this game was played sometime in November in 2015. And, uh, well, they, the story goes that they couldn't decide uh, which family name to use. They didn't want to use, like, uh, a mixture of their names uh, for, for it to be, like, uh, Omelube. Uh, so they decided to play a Blitz game, and whoever wins uh, decides the family name. So, pretty high stakes uh, for, for a Blitz game. And uh, I will also uh, put in the description below, uh, they both recorded their game, uh, they streamed the game. So I will put both videos so you can uh, check out uh, their own commentary, if you, if you understand German, that is. So let's see this game. Uh, Nicholas is white and Melanie is uh, black here. We have knight to f3, knight to f6, g3, g6, so the ready opening, uh, bishop to g2, bishop to g7, castles, castles, so the symmetrical variation. Uh, we have d3, d6, uh, e4, uh, c6. Rook to e1, queen to c7, uh, c3, we have b5, Melanie is expanding on the queen side, uh, we have knight b to d2, knight b to d7, uh, d4, e5 now, uh, queen to c2, uh, rook to e8, and now a4. And, uh, well, okay, Melanie here develops the bishop, bishop to b7, and we have uh, a captures on b5, we have c captures on b5 and d5. Uh, this uh, grabbing some more space here in the center now controlling this c6 and e6 squares and this uh, well this limits the the influence of this light square bishop on b7 and we have a5 here by melanie uh, bishop to f uh, uh, bishop to f1 now adding pressure to this b5 pawn uh, queen to b6 defending the pawn and now h3 uh, we have bishop to a6 uh, king to g2 uh, rook e to c8 uh, queen to b3 and uh, well this queen to b3 wasn't really such a such a great plan as uh, Melanie instantly instantly plays a knight to c5 attacking this queen on b3 and uh, the queen has to go back so queen to d1 and uh, well black is much better in this position well not much better but better uh, we have b4 <coughs> uh, bishop captures on a6 rook captures on a6 and now c4 uh, not allowing the position to open up, uh, and we have uh, b3, and this is a very good position for black. Uh, but Nicholas doesn't really mind uh, the threats on the queen side, he decides uh, to open up the king side. He plays g4. Uh, we have a4, continuing on the queen side, and we have rook to b1. If uh, a3 is ever played and the b captures on a3, this rook will be adding uh, pressure to this b3 pawn as the knight and queen al are already attacking it. Uh, we have h6. And uh, rook to e3, now adding even more pressure to the b3 pawn. And, uh, well, not allowing ideas like knight to d3. Uh, we have uh, king to h7, and now knight to e1. Uh, knight f to d7, uh, queen to f3. And in this position, well, this queen to f3 is attacking this uh, f7 pawn, but the uh, best resource uh, for black here would actually be to play bishop to f6. And this would completely stop any uh, idea White had on, uh, of attacking on the queen on the king side. Uh, but uh, we have king to g8 uh, and now rook to c3. Uh, we have knight to b8, uh, knight to f1, rook to a7, adding protection to the f7 square. Uh, we have bishop to e3 now pinning this knight, uh, knight b to a6, uh, defending this knight and also preparing to go to b4. We have knight to d2. Uh, knight to b4 now, and now knight to d3, now attacking this uh, c5 knight one more time. Uh, we have knight b captures on d3, rook captures on, b th on d3, and of course rook cannot be captured as the knight is pinned, so queen to b4, uh, unpinning, and uh, we have bishop captures on c5. Uh, rook captures on c5, and rook to a1, not allowing any a3 ideas. Uh, we have rook to b7, uh, Nicholas goes queen to e3, uh, he is preparing to push f4 to break open the king side, uh, and uh, here Melanie plays bishop to f8, and uh, well, uh, 
much better idea would a much better idea here would be uh, something like king to h7 so the rook can uh, so the rook can go behind this pawn this f pawn to add protection to it uh, but you played uh, bishop to f8 and this will be uh, well this would be this will be a, va a valuable tempo uh, that was lost uh, we have h4 here king to g7 and now g5 we have h5 not allowing to open up and f4 uh, we have uh, e captures on f4, queen captures on f4, and now bishop to e7. And uh, already Nicholas plays uh, rook to f1, uh, is uh, attacking this f7 square. And uh, well, we have bishop to e8, bishop to d8, and now the rook is defending f7. Uh, but here comes uh, rook d to f3, uh, adding even more pressure here. And uh, well, the, the threat is pretty strong. The threat is. Uh, uh, the threat is uh, capturing here on f7 if if this if it if it becomes possible so uh let's see if may, maybe the queen can capture it immediately for example if uh if black tried something like uh, let's say let's say a3 if this was played this would be instant checkmate for example queen captures on f7 check and after this rook captures the queen rook captures uh, king de king goes to g8, uh, rook to f8 check, king back to g7, and rook to f7 checkmate. Uh, so after this, uh, bishop to d8, uh, we had rook d to f3, and uh, now bishop to b6. And uh, Nicholas here didn't uh, find queen captures on f7, as he could have uh, played checkmate in four moves. Uh, he played uh, e5, uh, but it didn't really matter in this position. Melanie was already down to one second. So after e5, he, uh, she captured d captures on e5, and here we had queen captures on e5 uh, with check, and uh, Melanie lost on time in this position. Uh, but even if she didn't, with the best defense here, it still made him 5 with the same idea. For example, f6, queen captures on f6 with check, uh, king to h7, queen to f7, now sacrificing the queen for checkmate, rook captures, rook captures, and after two uh, forced moves by the king, it's uh, a double rook checkmate. So yeah, a very nice game and uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, a very, very high stakes for a Blitz game. So as, uh, as I, I tried to wa watch the video but my German isn't really that great so uh, I didn't really understand much and uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't really check uh, <laughs> which name they used after they got married. Uh, so maybe, maybe some of you know uh, which name they used. So yeah, that's the game. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. And you know, if you're ever in a dilemma uh, which family name to use, uh, and you can't come to an agreement with your <laughs> with your fiance, you know, you can always uh, play a chess game to decide. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and uh, I will see you soon.